Hey, Steven here with NorCal Screen Print Supply. Gonna do a quick video on how to use the Pathfinder um, in Adobe Illustrator. I remember when I figured out how to use the Pathfinder, I was really excited because it saved me a lot of time. And before using it, I spent a lot of time clicking on a bunch of different things, trying to uh, select one group uh, using Magic Wand and then subtracting them out of one layer and adding to, to another layer so that my print didn't print over each other. And I'll explain this and go through the video. So here we go. We have our, <clears throat> your design in Adobe Illustrator. Got a couple windows open. First, I'm gonna demonstrate just kind of um, how to use the Pathfinder, at least for creating separations. So you, you see, I have two vector objects, a circle and a square. Right now, these are completely separate. They are not subtracted out from each other. So the Pathfinder really, all it does when you select both objects and you go to the Pathfinder, it's going to, depending on which command you use in the Pathfinder, merge is the most useful one. So if I hit merge right here, you'll see when I take the square away, it's going to subtract out the square from the, the circle. So pretty simple, but it's very useful in screen printing. And we'll go back over to our two color design here and demonstrate that. So say for example, I'm gonna print this two color on a white shirt. I don't necessarily wanna print the blue ink on top of the orange rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is subtract out the text, the blue text. How do I do that? Well, I'm gonna to go to my magic wand. So I select all of that color uh, I'm gonna hit Command X or cut just to see that it's not subtracted out. So I'm gonna hit Command F, which is forward, paste forward back in the same exact spot. Then I'm going to go to my direct selection tool. I'm gonna select all of this stuff. I'm gonna go to our Pathfinder, just like we did with the square and the circle. And I'm gonna hit Merge. I'm gonna go back to my magic wand, select the blue text again, and when I hit Command X or cut, you'll see it's subtracted out from the back. So in this instance, it's not extremely useful. It doesn't save you a lot of time, but when you have a lot going on in your imprint and you're trying to subtract one color from the other, it's very easy to use the magic wand and the pathfinder to get that accomplished. So uh, we'll go over to this one right here. Let's see, I made another one just with the font, font all stacked. Uh, and it's also worth noting that if you have fonts in your design you're trying to do this with, if they are still, uh, they're, if they're not converted to outlines, it's not gonna work, right? So we have to select all the font uh, and go to type create outlines, and then it converts these fonts to vector objects. And now we can subtract them from the orange so if I hit Command X or Cut, it's, it's not subtracted. I'll put it back. I'll select everything. Go ahead and go to the Pathfinder. Hit Merge. And then you'll see, go back to my magic wand and cut it. And now it's all subtracted out from the orange. From here, what we can do is make another layer. Hit Command F in that layer. Now we have our both colors on each layer, which is great. Uh, we can either output these to a RIP software or we can uh, do a little color trapping. I'll do that real quick. Since, we have, since we're here, we might as well do it. Hit Command A. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this black for film output, and then I'm gonna put a black stroke on it. You can put a one point stroke, you can put a half a point stroke. It really depends on kind of how experienced you are registering the jobs and making sure they're lined up. So I put a one point stroke, that's fine. Go back to our orange, select it all, turn it to black. And since we have a stroke on the top text, we won't put a stroke here. And then if we go back and forth, if we have both layers visible, we should have one black square because together they're forming the whole imprint. So there's our top text. There's our bottom orange color or, or square. And yeah, use the Pathfinder to accomplish this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hope this was some assistance or some value to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.